to know is like what like for anyone who's having like you know troubles with their with their cycles or feeling like they're separate from themselves or feeling that like maybe disgust or like um ickiness when it comes to their blood like what is like the first step to building a positive relationship with our periods i'd say one of the first steps is recognizing that it's all okay <laughs> however you're feeling towards yourself however you're feeling towards your blood it's all okay we're we're not here to say you need to have a super positive relationship with yourself right away and um for many of my clients, you just got to accept at first where you are. Like, I don't feel good about my period. All right, great. That's, that's owning where you're at. And then from there, we can start to look at, well, why is it that you don't feel good towards your period? Maybe, maybe your mother or your grandmother didn't speak very well about her period um, when you were young. Maybe culturally you haven't had a very good influence from, from the media, from books, from TV about what period looks like. And so maybe there's a conditioning within ourselves that we've picked up from our environment that says we're supposed to feel bad towards ourselves when we're in that state. And so the first step is just giving ourselves some space to feel what's there. And then from that space, we can actually start to realign ourselves with how do we actually feel towards this body that we have and this experience of bleeding that we're in every month. And the, the spaciousness is something that is a teacher. And the more space you can give yourself around your period, the more you can start to feel what's mine and, and what's actually the culture around me that I have been absorbing into my body and believing is mine. <laughs> and then once you can own that and start to separate those pieces, you can start to let them go. Like actually that no longer serves me to believe that I'm icky or that no longer serves me to believe I'm always in pain or how my mom felt about her, her period is, is not mine. And the, and we let go of these pieces and then we start to feel what's there and we can let in like, oh, I actually enjoy this period. Oh, I actually like the smell. Oh, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it did. And those, each of those experiences start to reprogram our personal experience of our period. Because actually, it doesn't matter what anyone else's experience is like of their period. What's important is our relationship to our period. And what can sometimes happen around changing that relationship is you're having a great experience of your period and you try to share it with your friends who aren't quite there yet. And they're like, yeah, well, I have terrible periods every month and don't tell me about how nice it smells. <laughs> so we want to just let give ourselves that space to feel what's authentic to us.